Hey guys, welcome back. So in today's video, we'll be discussing Tacitus, who is considered by most one of the greatest Roman historians who ever have lived. Now, we'll be reading what he wrote about the historical figure of Jesus, and likewise, we'll be discussing what he thought about Christians and the persecution of the Christians by the Emperor Nero. For a little background on Tacitus, he was a Roman citizen born in Gallia Narbonensis in 56 AD, which is in modern-day southern France. He eventually became a Roman historian and wrote under Emperor Trajan and then eventually under Emperor Hadrian. The writing we'll be discussing today is from Book 15 of Tacitus' Annals. His annals are basically a history of Rome when it was ruled by Tiberius Caesar all the way to Emperor Nero. In the quote that was chosen, it shows how Tacitus bears a sense of bias against Christians as he calls Christianity a superstition, and this is how it is written. And a most mischievous superstition, thus checked for the moment, again broke out not only in Judea, the first source of the evil, but even in Rome. This quote is important, as it shows that Tacitus looks down on Christians in some sense. Therefore, he has no reason to lie about Jesus being a historical figure, as it doesn't benefit him in any way. Moving on forward to his writings on Jesus, he explains the leader or founder of the Christian group. Tacitus calls Jesus Christus. This in Latin means Christ. Tacitus provides some historical background on Jesus by saying he had undergone the death penalty in the reign of Tiberius. This perfectly lines up with the Gospel accounts, as Jesus was born around 4 BC, and he began his ministry when he was 30 years old, according to Luke 3.23. Therefore, this places Jesus' death somewhat during the middle of Emperor Tiberius' reign. According to Tacitus, Jesus received the death penalty by sentence of the procurator Pontius Pilatus. Yet again, this lines up with the gospel accounts in which Jesus had been sentenced to death by Pontius Pilate. This writing of Tacitus, who is considered to be one of Rome's greatest historians, provides us with a non-Christian source confirming the historicalness of Jesus' existence and even the reliability of the gospel accounts of Jesus' death. Finally, we get to Tacitus' writings on Emperor Nero and the Christians in Rome. Nero Claudius Caesar Augustus Germanicus, also known as Emperor Nero, was born in 37 AD. He was eventually adopted by the Roman Emperor Claudius at age 13 and succeeded him on the throne. A fire had broken out in Rome in 64 AD, and Tacitus records that the fire had taken place by order of Nero, as this was commonly believed, although historians do debate whether this is historical or simply a superstition. Eventually, Tacitus records this very immoral report on Nero, in which Nero blamed the Christians for starting the fire. Because of this, Nero felt it right to be justified in punishing and killing anyone who claimed to be a Christian. The quote from Tacitus goes as such, Therefore, to stop the rumor, Nero substituted as culprits and punished in the utmost refinements of cruelty a class of men, loathed for their vices, whom the crowd styled Christians. It's important to keep in mind that Christianity began to grow by the masses after Jesus' death, during Emperor Tiberius' reign. We now get to Nero's reign, and Christianity has spread all the way from Judea to Rome, and they've grown to the thousands. It's interesting to point out how in just a couple of decades, they've grown so big that Emperor Nero has his focus on them. After the Christians were blamed for the fires of Rome by Nero, all who pleaded guilty of being a Christian would be arrested. Tacitus records this as such. Accordingly, an arrest was first made of all who pleaded guilty. Then upon their information, an immense multitude was convicted, not so much of the crime of firing the city as of hatred against mankind. The Christians were arrested not as much on the basis of them apparently starting the fires. You can start to see a hatred grow for people who simply bear the name of Christ. After the arrests of the Christians in Rome, Tacitus records the immoralities enforced upon those who claim to be Christian. Tacitus records it as such, Mockery of every sort was added to their deaths. Covered with the skins of beasts, they were torn by dogs and perished, or were nailed to crosses, or doomed to the flames and burnt to serve as a nightly illumination when daylight had expired. To kind of conclude the message of this video, what we have here is a Roman historian who in some regards is anti-Christian, as he calls Christianity a superstition and likewise evil, yet he still records Jesus as a historical figure. 
This is important evidence as some don't even believe Jesus existed at all. Tacitus then records the acts of brutality placed upon the Christians by Roman Emperor Nero. What's important about this piece of evidence is the lengths in which the Christians were willing to go to, that being persecution and even death. Thank you guys for watching this brief video based upon Tacitus's writings. Uh, book 15 of Tacitus's Annals are linked in the description below. I recommend you read them for yourselves and create an opinion. If you guys enjoyed the video, please subscribe and like and have a blessed day.